In the wake of the shootings at STEM School Highlands Ranch, Douglas County is considering using $10 million to make safety improvements in its schools. Jefferson County Schools recently got a $700,000 grant to make safety improvements. Karen Morfitt got a look at those changes today, and Karen, school safety definitely is not a new concept. And Karen, here in Jefferson County, they've been putting attention toward safety and security for years. Many of their buildings, though, are aging and could use some upgrades. This new funding will help them do that and more. How do we make schools safer? It's a question many are asking and one that Principal Pam Yoder asks herself every day. It's not a simple fix at all. At Denison Elementary in Lakewood, they're guided by Jefferson County School Safety Director John McDonald. For years we've talked about what do you do when you're on fire? The new conversation that we have to have is what do you do when you're under fire? We cannot be scared of that conversation. His job is to improve security at more than 150 schools. How far does a dollar go? Well, it really depends on what you need and, and how you use it. Some of the changes can seem relatively small. They're rattling, they're trying to get this open. Plus, then once they do that, they have to get themselves back around. But have a big impact. So the opportunity to have a lock on the inside the quickly allows you to lock down and your door is just shut all the time, it saves lives. They're also adding a mass notification system that goes far beyond a text alert. Every digital display, whether it's a computer, a cell phone, a TV, outdoor signage, will provide alerts. Yoder says it may not be the answer, but it is a start. Every little thing we do will help our students, help our parents and our staff just take a deep breath. Now we know that those locks will be upgraded this summer, so when teachers come back in the fall, they will have those new systems. McDonald says long term, they are also looking at adding advanced security cameras inside the school that can actually track down a person by description and follow them through the school. It will help in the response. For now, we're live in Lakewood. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.